Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment. And today we are going over steam valves. And why are we going over steam valves? Because there are different types of steam valves found on espresso and cappuccino machines. As we see here, we have the Bianca made by Lalite. It's a dual boiler espresso machine. The VBMA double Domo Bar dual boiler espresso machine. And also the Bezerra Matrix espresso uh, double boiler espresso machine. So let me shut these off so we can go over them. And as you could see, we have different variations of the valve. We have two machines with rotative knobs. We have one with a joystick. And there are pluses and minuses to each. And when many customers call First Line, they don't realize the impact of the valve and sometimes the benefit. Uh, some customers prefer the joysticks, not realizing that there's actually a benefit to the rotative knobs that are found on, on these valves. And then also we'll go over compression and non-compression. So as you could see here on the Bianca, we have a knob that you could turn, okay, and there's no steam coming out. This is a non-compression uh, steam valve, which means there's a spring inside that basically when you get resistance on the knob, you're putting enough pressure inside the valve and basically the steam comes out. And on this non-compression, it's important, really important to not damage the non-compression valves because many uh, learn or read or watch videos on uh, YouTube or the internet that uh, non-compression is not going to damage. But if you close these too tight till the knob closes, you can actually damage the gasket inside. So on non-compression, it's really important. Like here you feel resistance. As soon as the knob gets loose, that's when you stop. Not fully closing the knobs. Really, really important. On the VBMA, you have compression, which means that you close all the way to get the steam to stop. So we open and we close. So this is a compression. Now the school, two schools of thought, one is better than the other or one's better than the other. It's really how you use it. Um, so uh, this can be better, but it's also more prone to damage on the gaskets if you're constantly closing the knobs tight. Uh, this one can get more wear and tear. Uh, but on these, on the VBMA, what's nice, the gasket on the inside can be rotated and flipped when you have a leaking problem until you get more new gaskets in. So you can rotate it around. Now, the joystick steam valves are typically non-compression uh, on these. So it would be similar to the Bianca, what you find on this particular Bezerra Matrix dual boiler espresso machine. And these type of valves can be uh, put across many, many types of espresso machines. So that is compression here versus non-compression. Now, knobs versus joysticks. And a lot of people like the joysticks because uh, of ease of use, ergonomic friendly. Uh, the thing is most joysticks are either full open and full close. And on the bad set of machines, you have a locking position, typically in the up spot. Uh, that can sometimes rotate. It could be in a down spot on some of their models. But what happens here on the joysticks, if you need steam power that's partial, not full open because you're doing a small amount of milk, you have to hold the joystick. There's very few joystick steam valves that can lock partially into position. So keep that in mind when you're selecting an espresso machine. If there's full open and full close, and uh, if there's an in-between. So on these particular ones, there basically is no in-between unless you hold it. On the rotative knobs, I can open, and basically I can let go. And I can use both hands for steaming and frothing my milk. And what I like to do when I'm steaming and frothing is more control. I'm also feeling the temperature of the milk with my hand because that is a good indication of when uh, the, uh, the steamed or froth milk is ready uh, as far as temperature. Now you can use a thermometer, but I'm kind of old school in that regard. Okay, so as you can see here, the same thing 
with the VBMA. Now the little downfall on the rotative knobs. If you're gonna get open the valve for the first time and get very, very little steam to come out, what happens is sometimes the steam will expand the gasket on the inside, which means you need to rotate it a little more. So that has happened in certain cases uh, where if you're just getting a little steam, and right now it's not happening because I've had it running, but if the machine's been sitting and you open up just a little bit to steam a very, very small amount of milk, uh, you may have to open it up a little more, but your hands are still free. So this is an in-depth look on the different types of steam valves uh, and the benefits of each. We're happy that you watched our YouTube video here. Thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe down there below. And if you have any comments or questions, please ask below. Visit our website. We have these three fabulous machines that we sell at First Line Equipment. Have a great day.